on his Instagram, private jets, fast cars, and throwing money into the air like confetti were only a few of the posts real estate mogul and social media influencer Hush Puppy was known for making. Little did he know, he was leaving a digital trail for all us here at the FBI, and that flaunting led us to the truth, a massive money laundering scam. In total, he had stolen $1.6 in United Arab Emirates Durham. It's a crime that will leave you speechless. I know I was. Here's the scoop on just how he did it, what he was spending all that money on, and how he was finally caught. Sometimes, things can get pretty slow here at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I know growing up, I thought it would be like I saw in the movies, you know, arresting the criminal masterminds of the world and bringing them to justice. Look, here's the truth about the job. Not all cases have stories worthy of worldwide news coverage. Spoiler alert, many times this line of work is a nine to five like any other, with a lot of paperwork. But sometimes there's a case that's so out of this world that we feel we've earned our $66,000 per year salary. Hush Puppy was one such case. Here's a bit of backstory on Hush Puppy, in case you didn't know. I know I didn't, but frankly, I'm not on Instagram all that much. His real name, Ramon Abbas. He is a social media influencer and a self-proclaimed real estate mogul from Nigeria. For what it's worth, he definitely knows how to play the social media game. Mr. Abbas has over 2.5 million followers, and at 37 years old, he has made millions of dollars dollars he now very publicly spends, and posts all sorts of lavish lifestyle pictures to the internet. And when I say lavish, I definitely mean it. Common posts for Mr. Hush Puppy shows him standing in front of what we can only assume are private jets, going on huge shopping sprees where he is seen splurging on clothes from Gucci, Versace, and Vendi, where shirts can cost $1,000 or more. Oh, and of course, Tons of photos of him in front of a multitude of super fast and super expensive cars. Some of his favorite driving machines are a $300,000 Rolls Royce or his $200,000 Ferrari. But he also lived in an incredibly expensive and exclusive Palazzo Versace in Dubai. He even has videos online of him taking off from a helicopter right from his home on the waterfront. Basically, this man did everything he could to let people know he was rich. Very very rich. And Hush Puppy soon learned that his talent for curating a social media following, I mean, who wouldn't want to live vicariously through this man's millionaire lifestyle, would give us here at the FBI everything we could ever need to secure his arrest. See, here's the thing about Hush Puppy. He made all of his money illegally by a scheme called money laundering. The idea behind money laundering is simple. Basically, someone will conceal the real source of their money. In Hush Puppy's case, he had stolen millions from banks, private investors, and companies by tricking them into putting money into an account that they were then using for their own purchases. When our team here at the FBI got a chance to look at the evidence we'd collected after his arrest, we found phone and email records that contained over 100,000 fraud files and over 2 million addresses that looked to be potential victims. The companies that Hush Puppy targeted spanned over two continents. It was a worldwide crime. He had stolen $923,000 when a paralegal at a New York law firm wired money into an account that belonged to Mr. Abbas. This paralegal had received instructions to wire the money into a certain bank account that Abbas and his team tricked them into using, and that $923,000 was meant to go to a client's real estate refinancing. It instead went to anything Mr. Abbas wanted. But that's just one instance of Abbas's manipulation. He stole $14.7 million from a foreign financial institution, having them send money into a Romanian bank account. Other evidence shows that he also used tricked victims into putting money into United States bank accounts as well. Arguably, his biggest potential scam was when he tried to steal $124 million from an English Premier League soccer club. Luckily, all we know about this attempted scam is just that. It was an attempt. To be honest, this kind of criminal activity makes us FBI agents sick to our stomachs. Last year alone, upwards of $1.7 billion were stolen by means of cyber fraud. It's an ongoing problem that just doesn't seem to go away, like a scar of guilt that won't fade with time. It almost seems to get more pronounced as the years roll by and many more harsh weathers of life occur. 
but thankfully, Hush Puppy is one scar that never got to form. It doesn't get a chance to fade, and it affects innocent people who can have their lives ruined. So, here's how the arrest went down. See, Ramon Abbas unknowingly had given us everything we needed to make the arrest, and it was from all those posts that he loved to make on his beloved Instagram and other social media platforms. I mean, the guy called himself Billionaire Gucci Master on Snapchat. He wasn't one to hide his wealth or his lifestyle, but one day, he disclosed just a bit too much information. It was his birthday, and he couldn't wait to make some legendary posts on the gram. One such post said, Started out my day having sushi down at Nobu in Monte Carlo, Monaco, then decided to book a helicopter to have facials at the Christian Dior Spa in Paris, then ended my day having champagne and Gucci. Then he proceeded to tag posts with hashtag all mine and stand with a number of Bentleys, Mercedes, Ferraris, and Rolls Royces. But right there for all to see was some very key information. He had his email and phone number saved to his Instagram. And when our boys here at the Bureau did a little digging, we were able to link it to financial transactions and transfers known to be associated with co-conspirators. To quote our affidavit, the email account also contained emails with attachments relating to wire transfers in large dollar values. Well, one post had a picture of his birthday cake, and it had a Fendi logo on top. Our investigators were able to verify his date of birth from a previous U.S. visa application. We had all we needed. July 2nd, 2020, we made our move. Our buddies at the United Arab Emirates went straight to his Dubai apartment and instantly captured Mr. Ramon Hushpuppy Abbas. From Dubai, they sent him to us, and now our agents have him secured away at the Metropolitan Correction Center in Chicago. After his arrest, we seized his assets, almost $41 million in cash, as well as 13 top-of-the-line luxury vehicles that came to a total worth of $6.8 million were now in the hands of the FBI. Sorry, Ramon. You didn't earn it legally. The next step for Hush Puppy? Well, this cyber criminal will be transferred to Los Angeles, and if he is convicted, he should be put away for a very, very long time. Money laundering is a serious offense, and when it's in the millions of dollars, it's even more serious. Hush Puppy could face a maximum of 20 years in prison, and let's not forget, all those lavish luxury cars and pristine Gucci outfits? Yeah, they're gone. You're back to square one, Mr. Abbas. And good luck having anyone trust you with their money again, after the scam you pulled. And don't think you're going to get away with it either. Recently, we've heard defenses like this one from his attorney, Mr. Pizetsky, who says, Mr. Abbas is an Instagram personality, a social media personality. Of course, he poses with high price items because that's what he gets paid to do. That's what he has built from growing up very poor in Nigeria. He was able to develop himself into this very well-known personality with millions of followers on Instagram. And people seeing him with these Louis Vuitton bags or clothes or Gucci bags and clothes or these fancy cars, and they go and want it. They want to buy it. That's a job today. As much as it's hard to imagine, that's a full-time job. Basically, this lawyer thinks that by using social media to build a profile of this cyberpunk, we're using it to imply more evidence of greater wrongdoing, and that we aren't just looking at the evidence right in front of us for his crimes. Ha! Huh. Nice try. Here's the thing. This man, Mr. Hush Puppy, was at the top of a massive international global scam. It spanned continents and affected a multitude of companies and potentially millions of people. His methods were some of the oldest in the book. He used business email compromise schemes, computer intrusions, and of course, money laundering to steal over $100 million from unsuspecting companies. Don't try and tell me that because he flaunted it online doesn't make him a criminal. And don't try and say that because his job is to flaunt money that he doesn't have it. The evidence is here. And if it were up to me, Hush Puppy would get a Charlie horse from running right into the slammer for a maximum sentence of 20 years. So where does this leave us now? If you thought that money scams were a thing of the past and that people getting tricked into putting their funds into foreign bank accounts just didn't happen anymore, looks like you were very, very wrong. It's one of the most common types of criminal activity, and unfortunately, anyone can fall victim to these horrible crimes. And it can not only ruin businesses, but lives. 
The good news is, it looks like these scammers can't help but post their ridiculous wealth right on the internet, like our friend Mr. Hushpuppy here. Without even realizing it, he left us all the evidence we needed so we could march right to his door. To all you out there, we say, stay sharp, smart, and be cautious when transferring your money. Oh, and you can bet that I'll be on Instagram now after this case, if only because it's a potential source of valuable information willfully given up by the criminals of the world. Thanks for watching this episode of The Richest. We hope you enjoyed it. We had a blast making it and imagining what this story would be like from the perspective of an FBI agent. If you liked the video, go ahead and click that like button. It helps us out here so much. And if you want more wacky stories of the wealthy, click subscribe. We guarantee you'll get all the info you ever wanted to know on The Richest.